Hi, everybody. Welcome. Hi, everyone. Hello, Geezer Creek. Hi. <laughs> Get distracted, huh? <laughs> I guess. I wanted to be fashionably late. Well, you were. So, <laughs> how's everybody doing tonight? I hope you're doing well. Um, are you guys ready for an auction? Friday night auction. Ba -da 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 -da. I have my shirt on tonight that has my name on it. And that's because I have a tendency to forget who I am. You that's have an anesthesia brain and can't remember. Yeah, I have anesthesia brain. Can't remember anything. And that was good that I couldn't remember them cutting into my eyeball. -y. So for you guys that um, don't know, I had uh, cataract surgery on Monday. On Tuesday, I went back to the doctor and I had... 2040 eyesight, which I have never had 2040 eyesight in that eye before. I've worn glasses for um, 67 years since I was three and a half. I've worn glasses. And now um, with 2040 eyesight, I don't need to wear glasses to drive. Da, 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 da. I can wear my Ray-Ban. That is exciting, and I am extremely jealous. I can wear my Ray-Ban. <laughs> yep. So um, I've got readers for the chat in that because they said um, uh, that I'm going to have to have a prescription for to read the, the chat and close up. So, hey, I'll take it. Guys, the scenery is beautiful. It's crisp and clear. I just, I am thoroughly enjoying um, my bionic eye. I'll tell you, I just go outside and just look at the mountains. I was looking across um, Kent's field. I don't know, that hill where the tower is in that about a half mile yeah it's about a half mile away and i said oh i never knew that there were fence posts up there on that hill and he said, <laughs> he said i can't see any fence posts <laughs> so that and this is the woman we let drive us around all over tucson <laughs> yeah really good thing we didn't know then if you only knew how bad my Hallmark in her door handle by now, then <laughs> yeah, you you probably would have been grabbing for everything. <laughs> yeah, I do that when my husband drives. Hi, Carla. So um, anyway, it was a fabulous success, and it just has put a new spark in my life. It really has. So if you guys just see me grinning, it's because I can see. It's a horrible thing to start losing your eyesight. And oh yes, God, I'm so I'm like actually looking forward to cataract surgery now after hers. Hi, Kim Cray. Oh yeah, I mean I just I can't encourage you enough, and uh, I wish I had had the money to put the the lens in that would correct my astigmatism and then I wouldn't have to have glasses for reading, but Hey, I'm, I'm cool with what I got, you know? Hey Gianna, hope you're feeling better. And hi Aaron. If my son is around, tell him I said happy birthday. So guys, that's the update on that. And, um, Let's see. Let me get my chat up here. There we go. Uh, hi, Robert and Pam and Kim and Ro and Willow and Aaron. 
We've got uh, 38 people in here already. Thank you, guys. That's Quite great. Quite a few in the chat, too, already. Yeah. So, um, Vicky's coming in, so watch for Vicky. Oh, righty. I shall keep yes. my good eye now looking for her. Especially at our age, Cam, when uh, you heavily rely on your eyesight, it particularly um, someone in in Sandy's position where she is on her own and she doesn't have any, well, can't she has, but you know, when you're getting older, your eyesight is very important. When you lose your eyesight, you lose your independence. And you know, that's, that's life changing to lose your independence. So this is very good. Well, and I have better eyesight than I have, you know, I've had all of my life. Exactly. You know, I never expected that. I don't know what I expected to tell you the truth other than to see better, but I are you seeing color and stuff like that better now too. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. that's fa fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You know what? Let me mute myself. There's some reason there's a plane. Plane He's coming over tonight. So I'll try and mute when I hear them coming. Okay. He said, uh, I never knew he, that Kent was colored. <laughs> it's going to be one of those nights guys. Just one of those nights. I mean, you'd think with the name like Armstrong, she'd have a clue. <laughs> yes. Kent's last name is Armstrong. So there you go. And there is Vicky. That was the name of my first boyfriend. Armstrong. Well, there you go. <laughs> How you feeling, Cindy? I'm good. And if my husband were in here, he'd be saying that darn Fred again. <laughs> that darn Fred? Yeah, it's a joke. It's oh, a joke in our house. Okay, because we have a joke in our house, too, <clears throat> with the name Fred, because that was my ex-husband. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know how those jokes go. <laughs> yes, I do. I am the joke in my house. What's the joke in your house? Tell me. No, I am. <laughs> oh, quit <you're laughs> it. Quit it. Now, somehow I doubt that. <laughs> you are the patriarch of your family, Kent. God, I feel sorry for that lot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. All right. Uh, you didn't. That's my beer that I drank the other night. May or may not have a jar tonight. So if you all want him to do a jar, put it in there. Type in jar. Oh, he is doing one. All right. Are you Hello, Thelma Harper? Hello, Carla. Oh, who Matthew? is that cute little sweetie in front of us? This is the baby that I'm always talking about. This is Addison, who just turned three the day after Christmas. Sticking her tongue out at us? Probably being bad. They're both being bad this evening. And Grandma is watching the baby so that Mommy and Daddy can have date night. Thank you, Denise. My sister Melody made this shirt. Remember I told you my sisters are good seamstress? My sister Melody made this Yes. Shirt. She actually makes the t-shirts. She doesn't just buy them and put the... Um, no, she's that good. She's really wow. good. Okay, wow. we definitely need to, for her to make our um, old bitty gone wild. And oh, yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> yeah, she's, a, she's a seamstress. She's a very good seamstress. Uh, they grew all of a sudden, Sandy. I got three heads now. Uh-oh. Yes, you do. <laughs> Or if oh, somebody's in the tooth. <laughs> this one right here, it, when she's all, when she's not all hot and sweaty, <coughs> she looks like grandma and mommy. This one looks like daddy's side of the family. Uh oh, oh we lost we Kent. Kent. <laughs> there he is. There Coming he is. Back. So how are you feeling, Sandy? <coughs> Pretty good. Both my girls were out of commission this week. Yeah. She's feeling like Superwoman with the new vision. 
Yeah. I but bet she is. I, 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 you know what? My mom and dad both said it made the world a difference. It was almost like they hadn't been seen for the past 20 years. Yep. That's how I feel now. So they just told me last time it wasn't quite bad enough yet to do it. So I can't imagine how bad it has to get before they I know, to right? <laughs> exactly. I don't know. I may have to get a different uh, laptop for you. He keeps freezing up. Oh, okay. Um, I may have to put up some jewelry and, and get uh, a different laptop for him, but we'll uh, we'll get him up and running here. So uh, if you haven't been to the Friday night auction, uh, bid uh, is increments um, up until... $50 at $50. It changes to $5 increments. Shipping is $5, whether you buy one lot or quite a few lots, except for the jewelry jar. The jewelry jar is going to be $12, 10, $10 shipping. Yeah. $10. $10 shipping on the jewelry jar. Um, let's see. See, 10 to 12.50. Okay, 10 to 12.50. Um, international shipping will be whatever the weight is on it. Um, please be sure and be careful going in and out of the driveway. We have a lot of pregnant deer out here and we just don't want them hurt. So uh, don't block the driveway and just watch the deer as you come in and out. Um, did anybody bring popcorn tonight? I didn't see Ruth yet. You, Ruth usually brings the popcorn, guys. So uh, I noticed Ella was here. She'll be your bartender tonight. Please remember to tip her. And um, hot dogs will be served at the concession stand until 9 o'clock tonight. So, um, did anybody bring popcorn? I don't know. Guys, let's hope somebody comes in with the popcorn because what's beer without popcorn? Exactly. Ruth hasn't made it in yet. I bet you she didn't get her um, notification. Weren't a lot of them having problems getting the notification? Um, I don't know. Um, oh, gotta have someone else be the bartender. Ella says no bartending on her birthday. Happy birthday, Ella! Oh, happy birthday, sweetie! Oh, Erin brought the the. Oh, she brought uh, oh, donuts too. Oh, Erin brought the popcorn and the bagels. Yeah, oh, those, are those are donuts. Donuts, okay. Because they've got sherry stuff on the top. Okay. Uh, you're oh, right. That's perfect. And Erin is gonna gonna be our bartender too. Oh, there you go. Right. She's got full responsibility. You She's go. Got everything covered. And Lady Chickapoo looks like she brought hot dogs and tacos. Yay! Oh, Thelma Harper brought a birthday cake. Good deal. And flowers for Ella. Oh, nah. Michelle O brought some flowers and a birthday cake. Ella, you are getting lots of cake tonight, girl. Hot dog. Well, you, Ella, you just sit back and relax. Enjoy That's your great. cake. I'm sure that Aaron will bring you plenty of drinks for the evening. And um, just enjoy. Exactly. Yeah. Adam, yeah, I know. I think I'm going to have to go get him a different laptop. I think this one is um, pooping out. <laughs> uh, Odie. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, it's Ian's birthday, too? Oh, or is there another one? Aaron says, happy birthday to Ella and my hubby. Did you miss a birthday, Cindy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cindy's, uh, Cindy's child has a yes. birthday. <laughs> so, yep. Oh, and Ella says, Aaron, be prepared. They are a thirsty bunch. Oh. They'll be already ordering a brew. 
Yeah, they, uh, you just got to watch them, guys. Just, just uh, make sure that, you know, you don't, over, don't over serve them. <laughs> I did know it was my son's birthday, Vicki. Okay. <laughs> I didn't say anything, so I thought maybe. Um, well, I had myself muted. I didn't realize I was muted, but yeah. Oh. Um, it is my son's birthday, and um, my daughter's is in three days. Oh, my. I was there, so I remember. <laughs> wow. All righty. Let's see. We've got an eight-inch bracelet that I'm going to get up here, and we'll get started. And um, then I will run and get a different computer for Kent so he can – hang in here with us let's see let's get a different camera for me oh man greg is sick tell him i hope he feels better lily you can uh, get rid of us shoot it's going around that house i think all righty so we're gonna do that so this is a Rolo chain. It's eight inches. It's sterling silver. And um, it is heavy. Let me put it on the scale here real quick and let you guys know. Oh, wow. It's um, 27.8 grams. Wow. So know, close to an ounce. And it looks like I see some initials or something on there. It says Mexico. All right. Mexico. Yay. I can read that from here. Wow. Nice. No, Sandy. Totally smokers, guys. We must have used to frustrate the heck out of her trying to get her to read stuff for us all the time. <laughs> I know, and I couldn't, I couldn't just couldn't see it, guys. So um, Yep. All right. So you may have to mute also. I'll mute them now. Okay. <laughs> so right. where are we starting on this? Um, we are going to start at twenty. Okay, twenty dollars on this twenty-six or twenty-seven gram. I think she said almost twenty-eight. Almost twenty-eight. Okay, so that is like really close to an ounce. And you said how long? Eight inches. Eight inches. So this could be a man's. This is unisex. We have Robert at 20. Yeah, this is a nice uh, Rolo linked um, heavy bracelet. And I see the Mexico there. Then I saw the 925 stamp on one of the links when she was first showing it. Yeah. So very good deal. Anybody going to challenge Robert on that 20? That's less than a dollar a gram. That is. That's, that's yeah, that's less than cost of the silver at this point. Yeah. So go get your laptop and we'll get this one sold while you're gone. Can I get 21 on this? Anybody? Right. We got Kathy at 22. This would be a great gift for your husband. Some of you ladies who want to gift your husband, this would be a good choice. Yeah, a little big for most women, but great for your husband. The shipping on this, I'm guessing, is her traditional $5 shipping, Robert. Um, you're not seeing the bid, Selma, in the chat? Robert Jones and Kathy's Choice both put a bid in. Kathy's at 22 right now. Are you seeing Kathy and Robert? We've got Robert at 25. I'm guessing, honestly, that's weird that you're not seeing them. You don't see Robert or um, Kathy at all? Yeah, they're on live chat. Um, try, um, if you're on live chat, try, try switching over to super chat. Oh, you're welcome, Brenda. 
and I think something just went out for you too, guys. Um, if you bought from me in the last auction or from Cricket's auction, that shipping got delayed because of my little stint in jail here, meaning the hospital. Um, I got all of that stuff the last stuff went out today, so you should be getting it any time now. Hi, Jonathan. Welcome. We have Robert at 25, and I'm guessing this bracelet equivalent one. to this would probably list for at least $100. This is a pretty substantial bracelet. So 25 is a fantastic deal for this. It is almost 28 grams, which is close to an ounce, um, a troy ounce um, in jewelry measurement or in silver measurement. Um, Elle said try closing it and going back in, Thelma, because I can't think of any other reason why you wouldn't see them. Try, we're in pop chat, try top chat. At least I'm in top chat. You need to be in live. Chat. Okay, try live. Okay. So you want to type in Giza Cruz. I'm going to switch to live and let's see if I'm still seeing everybody. Yeah, it looks like I am. If I miss somebody, let me know. <laughs> You got it? Okay, good, good. So we're at 25 with Robert. Can we get 26? We're gonna go going one time. There's still a lot of meat left on this bone and this is a fabulous gift for a man. If y'all need to buy for your significant others or your insignificant others, whatever you want to call them. Anybody else? We need 26. Did we get Kent fixed up? Or we're working on I it. I think so. Can I get 26, ladies? We are going twice to Robert at $25. You don't have one? Well, maybe if you get this bracelet, um, the universe will say, hey, she needs somebody to put that bracelet on and send you one. <laughs> Let's see. Let me get him in. And then the ultimate in sales technique right <laughs> all right we got there him. he is hi kent <laughs> all right anybody else we're at fair warning we need 26 dollars. fix you up all righty what state do you live in thelma texas we'll see what we can do Anybody else? We're at fair warning at $25 to Robert. I'm going to give it about 10 seconds before I call it, just in case there's any lag. That's going to look <laughs> nice on you, Robert. Oh, sorry, Willow. That's why I added, or your insignificant other. <laughs> Ohio. Let's see. Anybody else out there in Ohio? We need a... Um, Will is in Ohio. Willow. Well, Willow's got the same... No, complaint. not Willow. Will. Oh, Will. Uh, okay. eBay reseller. Oh, okay. Hmm. In, uh, Ohio. Anybody else? We're going to call this one sold to Robert at $25. Yeah, anybody in Ohio wants to hook up with Miss Selma? There you go. For coffee. I don't mean for anything else. Just <laughs> coffee. We are not matchmakers. Yes. <laughs> we are not pimps. We are not matchmakers. Matchmaker, matchmaker, matchmaker. Oh, how cute. We got a kitty cat. That's adorable. And it's not light either. It's uh, 14 grams. Is that a brooch? Yes. You know, technically you could wear that as a pendant too by putting a chain through the tail or the, that would be kind of cute. Yeah. yeah. Or I could make one of those things that fit on the 
the uh, bar here to turn it into a pendant. Yes, that would be an adorable pendant. Who is on that table, Kent? Knocking the stuff off. Where are we starting? All right. Up. Yeah. I'm going to kill a dog. Um, let's see. We are going to start at uh, 15. Rody? That is a steal. Yeah, I saw some uh, stamp on there, too. Cat or squirrel. <laughs> I think it's a cat. We've got Willow at 15. We are looking for 16. We got Vicky at 17. I knew he was going to come in on that one, Vicky. I was going to bid on it, but I knew he was going to come in on it. Are you in Germany too, Tony? We have yeah, he's, in Holland. Holland. he's in Holland. Holland, okay. Um, we have we, Mary at eight. Well, Willow at nineteen. Sorry. Um, Pearl and I got the refrigerator in my shop today. Nice. Yay. Hi, Miss Raven. Hey, Raven. We got Vicky at twenty. I thought that pin was cute, so. Sorry, Mary. Vicky beat you by a hair on the 20. We got Mary at 21. Willow is out. We're still at a very good price for this. This is a big hunk of silver. Um, it's a beautiful brooch if you're a collector. Um, Vicky says, stop playing. Let's go 25. <laughs> um, if you're a reseller, there's still, there's still room on this piece. Um, figural brooches do very well when you list them, particularly a vintage silver brooch like this. Mary is out. So we're at 25 to Vicky. Do you speak similar... Do you understand um, what language do they speak in Holland? That's what I'm trying to get at. Do you guys? Um, Dutch. Here, okay. Do you know Dutch, L? Or do you know German, Tony? So we're going one time at 25 to Vicky. Looks like everybody else is out. You scared them with that one, Vicky. That's what she was intending to do. You're four kilometers from the German border. Do you know, do you know German, Tony? Dutch is related to German. Okay. That's what I was trying to figure out if you understood each other's language or not. Okay. We are going two times at 25 to Vicky. We're looking for 26. You do speak well, I think German. Monique is from uh, Holland also. I think she is too. Very cool. Well, Sandy was saying earlier she was going to get maps so that she can put um, pin a pin on where. Oh, the, Sandy, that's an awesome idea. Yeah, where the uh, yeah. people in the chat are from, so we can get an idea of where everybody's at. So he speaks German and she understands Dutch, so they're good. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, I think that's oh. awesome. Elle is awesome. She just knows lots of languages. She's something else. Yeah, that's true. She did tell us she speaks multiple languages. There's somebody else in that does too, that speaks multiple languages. I can't remember. There's who actually that is. several people. Yeah, I know. Um, I Bob think Kathy knows. Grumpy spoke like five or I was six just going to say, yes, she did several languages. International, that's right. Yep. I don't know why they're hanging around with a dummy like me, I'll tell you. Oh, stop it. We get you, Sandy. Yeah, you get me. Yeah, hey, we're not by no means a dummy. We get you. <laughs> well, we're at fair warning, ladies. Uh, yeah, I think that would be really cool, her map idea. 
I she do comes too. up with some good ones once in a while for a dummy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some people, L, just have a knack for that. Either you have that brain some people brain in your out. brain or you don't. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so did I win the cat the cat win already? Um, actually, I'm about to call it sold right now. All right, you just did. It's yours for That's right. She hasn't run us off yet, has she? You're echoing, uh, Vicky. Echo. Okay. Echo. Echo. See the brush right. is sold to Vicky, guys. All right. How much, Cindy? 25. You're welcome. Oh, can't 25. Thank you. All right. We have some earrings. Okay. Now, these are very light, guys. Um, let me measure these for you. Those look like 1970s. Those are vintage. Thanks, Pamela, Kathy. These are an inch. Those are cute. They look like they have like little texture um, on some of the rings. Oh, there's a design on there, like a swoop. Let me check this with my loopy. I just sent a very similar pair to that to somebody that I had had for years that I got. I, in I have a pair like that too. Turn the light back on, please. They were from like 1978, somewhere around there. These the are these say ZZ or ZZ, depending on where you're from. Okay. Sterling. ZZ. Let me look that up real quick. Do y'all remember when those were very popular? If you're my age, I had a couple of pair in silver and I have a pair in gold. I still. I do too. Them. Yeah, I held on to the gold ones, but I've sold both silver pairs. We're going to start these out at uh, $10. They're well made too. I know that the construction on those lasts for a long time. I like that luck type of clip as opposed to how they do them now. These don't break as easy. We got Raven at 10. Can we get 11? Well worth it, guys. I know they were more than $10 in 1978. You remember them too, Mary? Yes. You want the small, small bags? I'll go get you. I'll be right back, guys. I need to take care of Kim. A lot of the ZZ jewelry is in gold. Are you sure those aren't white gold? Um, they could be, but I did she say they were marked? Um, no, she didn't. Oh, okay. But I know everything is always silver unless she says otherwise. Yeah, Erin, I had several pairs of them and I sold them. That last pair I kind of wished I'd kept. They're really nice, but they're on their way to somebody now. I don't remember what lot they were in, but I think I sold them at maybe that benefit auction. I can't remember. Yeah. Or my last auction. And... They were very popular, though. Everybody was wearing that style. Yeah, everything I'm seeing in here under ZZ is all gold. Wow. Anybody want 11? They are silver, right, Sandy? They're not gold? Correct. They were Mark Sterling. Okay. okay. You know that they're vintage. Yes. Let me... Uh... These are well worth it, guys. Ten dollars is cheaper than this. like I said in the seventies. They cost more than ten dollars, even in silver. Yeah, here we go. Far more, actually. And as you can see, they stood the test of time. Want to come sleep with me? I think so too, Mary. So great that everybody's looking for that 70s clothing now. Anybody want to go 11? We're going one time at 10 to Raven. This is a steal. 
Hi, Autumn. How are you? Oh, while I have some of you, I see that have auctions booked with stills and deals real quick. I wanted to let you all know that Cindy screwed up the calendar. I accidentally scheduled um, Anne and um, Chris back to back Saturdays. So um, because there's another channel having an auction in between on the Saturdays that we don't have one, I'm going to have to move everybody on the schedule down one week. So as soon as I get that done, I will message you and let you know what your date is. But whatever your date is now, it will be one Saturday after that because we don't want to step on the other channel's toes. They were so gracious to make sure they scheduled in between and not interfere with our auctions. So we want to do the same for them. So I'm going to have to move everybody down a week. And I apologize for that. So I will get back to all of you with your new dates. Way to go, Cindy. Yes, I know. <laughs> I've kicked myself for it like 15 times already. <laughs> hey, Miss Kathy, I want to see a picture of you in that maxi coat and mini dress. Yeah. Uh-huh. She was the aunt. Oh, hey, that was the thing. Maxi uh -huh. coat, mini dress, and yep. waffle stomper boots. Yep. <laughs> These boots are made for a walk. And yep. Yeah, do y'all remember the waffle mm -hmm. stompers in the early One of these days, these boots are going to walk on all over you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought I was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. <laughs> wow, do I have you fooled. Oh dear. Anybody else? For twice? 53 people in the chat. They cannot believe nobody's challenging you for these earrings, Willow. I mean, Raven. We're at fair warning on the earrings. They're going for $10. Wow. That is cheap for these. Sterling silver earrings. Wow. Yeah, and they're a good size. These are not little wimpy earrings. These are, no, um, these look are an inch. Earrings. They're an inch. They're look at me earrings. Okay. I guess they're yours, Raven. They are sold to Raven for $10. Goodbye, um, Ra wow. Raven. Very goodbye. Gorgeous earrings. All right, we have got so oh, I'm going to Gianna. I'm going to personally message everybody. Necklaces. And look at this. This is a kitty cat. Now it's a little monkey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's a no evil. It's a see no evil monkey. Yep, it's a see no evil monkey. Let me hit the button here and see if we can. Yep. And that's a no, very nice. Monkey. And then we've got just a. Now that. Okay. Plain one. And then a. Ooh, teardrop. Best colored. Oh, okay. beautiful. And these are. These chains are quite long. Yes, those are great chains. Let's see. This one is 22 inches. Okay. That's probably a hundred dollar chain new. Yeah. Hi, Jaxie. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. So. It's the see no evil monkey, Jaxie. I think I have a few of my 70s garments left, Willow. Not many, but I have a couple. So where are we starting this at? I'm going to start this at 20. This is a fantastic deal. Yes, it is. The three chains are worth more than the 20. Yep, that's for sure. I am feeling so much better, Jaxie. Thank you. Anybody interested? Anybody. $20 on three necklaces. Anybody. 
Nobody's bidding. Okay, we have row at 20. We need 21. Okay. Yeah. Look at the little monkey. I wonder, that one's covering its eyes. I wonder if there was a see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil monkeys. I think so. That is so cute. You have a onesie. I got. I may have. I do have some uh, clothes that were my daughters from the seventies. Yes, seventies. Anybody? Can we get twenty-one? We need twenty-one on these three necklaces. We are talking less than seven dollars a piece. You could even buy one of those chains for seven dollars. It is very pretty. The color in it is intense. That is amethyst, you said, right? Well, it's an amethyst color. I think it's just glass. Okay. But everything is sterling. That's a really nice pendant that... Uh, yeah. The other one has a very nice bed on it. Anybody, can we get 21? It's going to be one of those nights, is it? Oh, no, I can't handle another night like that. <laughs> <laughs> we got Jaxie Jax at 21. We need 22. Sometimes it's just a slow start, but we get Yeah, there. last week we were missing you bad. Even even Trixie couldn't um, <clears throat> bring it back round. Oh, so sorry. I was staring at a barf bag last week. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. We have Roberta at 22. We're looking for 23. Yeah, Kathy got some pretties last week. Did you, Kathy? Was a good week, huh? Swoop in there and grab it. She said she spent her, her month's um, uh, uh, mad money awesome. work last week. <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> I guess you picked a good week for it then. <laughs> yep yeah I wouldn't wish that on anybody Willow it was not pleasant um, can I get 23 anybody want to go 23 yeah there's actually quite a few ladies out there who um, have uh, been through that what you were through so they um, they were all sympathizing yeah, it's not fun. I've been going through it for years, and this will be my second time around having to have a bowel resection, and it just isn't pleasant. Um, anybody, uh, I will ask you guys if you are bidding and then um, it gets to your limit and you decide you are out, if you would let us know that you're out, it will help move items along quicker. So we're going to go going one time at 22 to row. <laughs> Moving, moving, moving. Keep them well, that, that way we don't have to keep those of you who are waiting on another piece you may be interested in waiting and waiting so we can move it quicker. Thank you, Kim Cray. Mary Hobbs says, can you measure the stones, please? Okay. Um, I don't have a caliper, but I can put this next to it for you so you can see well oh, that's three quarters of an inch how large it is that one oh they're decent size yeah they're decent sized very you much know, i actually robert i can understand that you are feeling so bad because there's no relief in between throwing up and the pain is like intense. You actually wished you were not here. Yeah, I was wishing that. I really was. Do they actually sell body bags on uh, Amazon? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> they probably do. I'm going to have to get me one. No, let's not be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you've got a body to hide. Uh, I might. <laughs> We're going to have a couple of them. <laughs> Anybody else interested? We're going twice at 22 to row. Cute. I remember this. Fair warning. 
I have some chain mail coming up. We're at like what seven dollars and twenty-five cents, thirty-three cents, something like that. Oh, don't make me feel bad. Six pieces. Six pieces. Fifty gallon garbage bag. I heard that right. <laughs> For a good day, <laughs> use the five fifty gallon trash bag. I heard that. That's All right, beef bags. I think we are sold to row for twenty two dollars. All right, row. Goodbye, row. Glad you could make it, Ruth. Twenty two. All right, Ruth is here. Yay! Yay. Our grandson's hockey game. That's a good All excuse right. for not being here. Yep. Don't forget duct tape. Yep, got to have that duct tape. And a bottle of bleach if it was messy. <laughs> Ooh, isn't this pretty? Yes, it is. And you know what? I had that very same one, but it was made out of um, like a gun metal. It wasn't made out of silver, and it was gorgeous yeah. one. Well, this is sort of a gun metal um, uh, color. But yeah. it is more. <laughs> let me double check. You sound like you've done this before, Robert. <laughs> well, you know, if you have to get rid of a dead cow or something, you got to do something with it. You know, well, now that's important too. Don't let us keep you yeah. away from your barbecue dinner. You got to go there. It is marked uh, nine two five. So wow, very but exciting, is, Ruth. I got to love me. Yeah, you know, that one would be a real pain to get all the tarnish off but what a beautiful piece where are we starting with this we're going to start this one at 20 20 okay that looks like it's probably well over an ounce of silver <laughs> we've got robert coming in at 25 we are looking for 26. We're looking for 50, but we'll take 26 right now. We got yeah. 30. We're looking for 32. Vicki, can you mute? Your girls are giggling again. Thank What's you. What's the question mark, Robert? Did I miss the length? L wants to know how long it is. Oh, let me... Uh... And while you have it off, weigh it. Yes, ma'am. Please. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded bossy, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, to the very bottom of the necklace, it's 18. So it's a, uh, the inside of the necklace is about 15. And let me just put it on the scale. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ruth. <laughs> uh, it is 13.3. So to here, it's 15. To here, it's 18. And it's 13.3 uh, grams. And I'm guessing it has a type of clasp you could add an extender to? Um, yeah, it's a uh, lobster yeah, claw. Yeah, you could easily extend that. We have Robert coming in at 35. I just think it's a beautiful necklace, you know, and I have not seen anything like this around lately. So, how old is your granddaughter, Ruth? She's got to be the most decked out girl at school. We're at 35 with Robert, looking for 36. Hi, Marianne. How are you? <coughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. We need 36. We're going one time at 35 to Robert. So I have my margarita mix in the freezer. She's a refrigerator in the shop. The little jewelry napper knows quality when she sees it. She's eight. 
<laughs> That's what you get for teaching your kids to love jewelry. They take yours. <laughs> well, last week she made uh, uh, Ruth buy her a pair of earrings and then she kept getting on Ruth's phone. She was supposed to be laying down in the bedroom going to sleep and she was on Ruth's phone. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Saying, hi, Auntie Sandy. <laughs> so look what you have done. You have created a jewelry addict. Yeah, I have created a monster there. Looks like Gianna is in under stills and deals. I thought I saw Lily earlier. I don't know if Lily is still here or not. But we are going two times at 35 to Robert. Yes, if you haven't um, signed up in Steals and Deals, please do that so you can bid on uh, the Saturday night auctions. Fair warning, guys. Fair warning. I think you're about to get the deal of the night on this. You know, I like leaving tarnish on my jewelry, but this one polished up would be stunning. So Ooh, I, to Robert at 35, you're going to have to polish that one up and show us what it looks like polished, Robert. Thorn bugs. All right. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, nice buy, Robert. Whoop, whoop, Denise says. Whoop, whoop. Okay, I'm going to bring up a pair of my earrings right now. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, yes. These are hammered copper <laughs> and turquoise. And there's a little bit of a caveat that goes along with this, ladies. Sell them first. Oh, right, all right. And then tell them about the deal. <laughs> All right, we're going to start these out at uh, 25. These are just sandy earrings, guys, with uh, turquoise. Look at all that turquoise. They're hammered copper uh, with three little turquoise beads on them. This, the copper is an inch and a half long. Well, maybe they're not interested in it. Anybody at 25, very good deal. <laughs> she passed out in the car on the way home. So <laughs> <Aaron Summer. laughs> Anybody, 25 on these, they're gorgeous. And you know what would look really cute is like a little triangle of copper or something hanging off of that bottom loop there. Wouldn't that be cute? Oh, yeah. We've got Kim Cray at 25. That's people who like really long earrings, but th these Shoulder are. Shoulder dusters, I've heard. They're called. I saw the longest shoulder dusters I have ever seen the other day. Kelly Clarkson on The Voice was wearing some that went literally to her waist. Wow. They were earrings that hung. They were just long chains, and they hung all the way down to her waist which is not I, much of a stretch for her. She's very short, but definitely the longest pair I've ever seen. So I think that is coming back in that really long earring style. I really hope that she hooked them over, over her ears, because can you imagine if you caught those on something? Yeah. Cause it was multiple chains. Yeah. That would like, yeah, they will be Kathy. They will be stamped. They'd have to be made out of tin or something to keep from dragging your earlobes to your waist. We've got Kim at 25. We're looking for 26. Anybody want to go 26? Anybody? Anybody, anybody. Can we get 26? We have Kim Cray at 25. These are original Sandy earrings. The um, hooks are sterling silver. 
then you have the copper rectangle pounded copper and then you have turquoise so you're getting silver copper and turquoise for $25 and they are sandy originals she said the copper was an inch and a half long so I'm guessing they're probably approaching at least two inches maybe a little longer yeah Ruth says, oh my gosh, BRB forgot popcorn. Oh no, no popcorn, Ruth. I forgot to bring my tea in here. Ah. I'll be right back also. <clears throat> Oh, that was a mistake going back to the bedroom. Somebody had diarrhea. Great. I, anybody. I see Cindy's lips moving. Cindy, you're muted. Oh, sorry. Okay, we are needing... $26, guys, your chance to get in a Sandy original for under $50. That doesn't happen very often. No, it doesn't. If you are wanting to add a just Sandy original to your collection, now's your time to get it at $26, what we're looking for right now. We're going two times at 25 to Miss Kim Cray. <coughs> oh, tough audience tonight. I guess so. Fair warning. We still love you, though. Cool. Elle wants to know if you got her email. Uh, yes, but I didn't open it. I just noticed that it was there. And I just knocked something off my thing. Ah. I hope that wasn't important. All right. We are going to say sold to Miss Kim Craig for $25. Now Sandy can tell you about the fantastic idea she has. All right. I am going to make up kits so that you can make these earrings. It will have everything in it that you need. All you will need to have is a ball peen hammer, which is a hammer with a rounded end on it and um, needle nose pliers. And I will be putting together a kit of um, not just turquoise, we're gonna have uh, other stones in there too. I've got uh, strands of apatite and tanzanite and all sorts of stuff. But it'll be enough for two pairs of earrings. And um, I'm going to sell those kits for $25. So that's coming up. Hopefully next, uh, next week we'll have those together. So then all you would do is texture the, the um, copper and put them together. And you know what? I love pearls, and I think that copper would look beautiful with a pearl hanging off of it, too. Oh, yeah. We can just do whatever you want. Those copper color pearls that you made for me, Vicki, uh -huh. would look beautiful on that. There you go. Um, Willow wants to know, uh, have packages gone out from the stamps and stuff you sold? Not yet. They, sh uh, I'm not, I'm, 
Yes, and I were sick one day, she's sick one day, I'm sick one day. But tomorrow. Opal would be fantastic on that. Wouldn't that look cool? Some opal. Oh, yeah. Yep. And hematite raven said that would be interesting for sure. Yep. Yes, like the ones in on necklaces. That's, those would be cute. That kit might have to go for more than 25, though. Yeah. The, you <laughs> know, depending. All right. This is a little 16 inch necklace. Oh, how cute. And um, this is turquoise. Let's see. Maybe if I turn this light out, show up a little better. <clears throat> Let me move it up here. There we go. Can you see that turquoise a little bit better now? Um, a little bit, but you got a little, looks like there's a little too much light, like right in the center. That's better. Okay. We'll go with that then. And I'm going to start this out at uh, 20. Wow. That's a really good price. Uh, so good that I am going in 20 on this. So Vicki, you got to take over on the bidding. Vicki is busy on her phone. Oh, okay. So I'll work it out then. <laughs> you got to take uh, over, Vicki. Looks like the girls are giving grandma a run for her money. Yeah. Okay, we're at 20. We are looking for 22 on this. We're still at $1 increments, but um, she just took herself out. <laughs> yeah. That's what she said that the girls were being really bad. So she's going to have to bounce. Okay. Anybody want to go 21 on this necklace? How long did you say it is? It's 16 inches, 16 inches. All and right. Ruth has got the popcorn now. Good deal. And what kind of a class could you add a extender on it? Uh, yeah, it's got, <clears throat> excuse me, an S clasp on it. Let me show you. Yep. So you could extend if you needed to. Definitely. You could extend from both sides, actually. Yep. Um, it is gorgeous. This is nobody's fighting me on this. I am very surprised. This is such a cute necklace. You could go very fancy or you could dress it down either way. At the back door. I'll be, back. I'll be happy to take it from 20 at 20 guys, but I do not mind you bidding against me. There we go. Now we're seeing it. We got Brenda at 22. Brenda came in first, Joe. Sorry. And welcome, Joe and Brenda. Glad you're here. We've got Joe at 24. I'm going to go 25. Anybody want to go 26? Beautiful turquoise and sterling silver. We got Brenda at 26. Did you say this one is signed at all, Sandy? She had to go to the door. She'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to go 28. We are looking for 29. <clears throat> I knew there was no way y'all were going to let me have this at 20. We've got Brenda at 29. I'm going 30. Wow, UPS just delivered. Nice. Okay, both Joe and I bid 30. Let me know who went, who got in there first on your yeah, screen. I you did. I did. Okay. Thank you, um, Antoinette. Thank you for asking. I'm doing much better. We have Brenda at 32. I'm going to go 33. Oh, somebody woke up, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, uh, oh my goodness, Joe, when I did it again, who's first, me or Joe? You are. you are. Okay, so we're looking for 34. I am at 33. Thank you. 
Aaron, um, I'll see you hopefully this weekend. Let me know about the boys and their schedule. I'd like to take them to see that um, do little <laughs> movie if they haven't seen it. Guess who's awake? <laughs> oh, Shiite. <laughs> Guess who's awake? <laughs> Oh, dear. We're at 33, looking for 34 on the necklace. We have Brenda at 34. We're looking for 35. I am going to go out, and we're going to let Brenda and, well, um, who else was? Brenda and no. Joe battle it out. I'm going to bow out as much as I want it. I'm going to let you ladies have this one. We're looking for 35. Hi, Thelma Thrift. How are you? Let me um, see here. They're about a uh, half inch. Joe's out, Cindy. Oh, he did that little turkey. Okay, Joe is out. So we still have Brenda at 34, looking for 35. Looking for 35. Anybody want to go 35? We have Thelma at 35. We are now looking for 36. Hi, Thelma. <clears throat> so I was finally able, Thelma, to read the brand name on that mesh necklace that you bought at my last auction. And it actually is a vintage brand. And I can't pronounce it, but the name is U-N-O-A-E-R-R-E, -E, which turned out to be a really high-end vintage brand. So I think you got a really good deal on that. I hope you like that one. 35, looking for 36, ladies. Are you still with us, Joe, or are you out? Oh, she's high bed. We're going to go one time at 35 to Thelma. Who went 34? Brenda, I'm sorry. Joe is out. Brenda, are you out too? Okay. So we're going two times to Thelma at 35. We are looking for 36. Hi, Lydia. Hi, Lydia. How are you? nice to see all of you guys i haven't seen most of you in well over a week almost two weeks actually just glad to see anybody right now honestly okay we are at fair warning 35 dollars to thelma whoops that should have been an f sorry <laughs> We know what you're talking about. All right. We are sold to Thelma for $35. Nice buy. I love that one, Thelma. Thank you, Thelma. All right. Let's see what's next here. How about, let's see. This bracelet is seven and a half inches. And I oh, nice. weighed this and now I can't remember what it weighed. So hang on a second here. Oh, that's an older bracelet too. Yeah. That is a nice one. I hope y'all are awake on this one. This is um, 27 grams. And that very much reminds me of a Mexico sterling silver bracelet that I have. It is very similar to that. Is that stamped Mexico? I believe it's just stamped 925. Okay. That looks like Mexico silver, though, doesn't it? I that or um, India. India. Beautiful piece. I'll have to show you the one I have some point, guys, why, you, why I think it reminds me of that one. But where do you want to start it? Um, we're going to start this at 25. 
25. Good price for this. Very good price. Anybody interested at 25? We have Robert Jones coming in at 30. We're looking for 31. Gorgeous. That's got what? One, two, three, four, five, six links. And you said it was seven and a half inches? Correct. Great size. And I bet that one is over an ounce, isn't it? Uh, no, it's 27. 27. Just, so just under, one, just one under ounce. an ounce. Anybody want to go 31 on this? Thelma wants to know if it's, it's a hook. hook, Thelma, I believe. Wasn't it a hook? Yes. Yeah, it looks like an older piece for sure. That's a nice hook on there too. We have Francis. Hi, Francis, coming in at 31. Thelma came right back at 35. We are looking for 36. We'll take 40, but we're looking for 36. Robert says he is out, so we are at 35 to Thelma. We have Francis coming in at 36. Uh-oh. <laughs> Somebody has Ruth's phone again. <laughs> she, we must have woke her up with the auction. <laughs> oh, hi, Madison. We seeped into Madison's dreams. We have Thelma says, stop playing. I'm going 44. <laughs> <laughs> Unless she meant to type 40. Did you mean to type 40, Thelma? Is that a typo? No, that's one of her favorite numbers. Oh, that's her favorite number. Okay, so that's her trying to say stop playing. Hi, Sophie. <laughs> and then Francis says, okay, that did the trick. I am out. So we're going <laughs> one time at 44 to um, Thelma. Have Thelma, have you ever done any videos of your personal jewelry collection? I would be so excited to see that. We have Sosie coming back at 48. Oh, we are looking Thelma at 50. It is a fabulous piece, guys. It really is. We are at 50. Is Peaches in? I didn't see her. Hi, Peaches. Did I miss her somewhere? Oh, there she is. Hi, Patty. How are you? We have Sosie at 55 looking for 60. We are at $5 increments now. We are looking for $60. Anybody want to go 60? It is a battle between Thelma and Sosie. We have Sosie at 55. We have Thelma coming back at 60. You know when you see these two ladies going at it that this is something special for sure. We need 65. We have Sosie at 65. They recognized it as something. Yeah, this is this is a spectacular piece. Oh, hi, Marguerite. I'm so sorry. Somehow you got past me in the chat. I am so sorry. I am easily distracted by shiny things, so I apologize. <laughs> uh, Sosie said her mom had a similar one from way back. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've got one that's very similar, too, and it also has a hook. Um, mine is from Mexico, but it is very similar to this, and I get so many compliments when I wear that. We are at 65 to Sosi. Um, Thelma is bowing out, so we're going one time to Sosi for 65. We are looking for 70 right now. I am so much better, Marguerite. Thank you for asking. We are going twice. 
I will not prolong it until everybody is out. We're going to go fair warning with Sosi. I'm going to give it 10 seconds and we're going to call this one. And I have the deal of the night coming up next. Uh-oh. Better than this? Could it get better than this? We are sold to Sosi for 65. Thank you, Sosi. Thank you, Sosi. We have six. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, look at the bear. <laughs> God. That was not me. Oh, that was that was Kent. Well, that just came out of nowhere. No, we know where it came from. <laughs> All right. So we've got um wow, beautiful. We've got a blue ball. Uh we've got a really nice pearl and the luster on this pearl, I'm thinking that it's real. Rather than a cultured? Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. The odd shape on it. And um, gosh, the light just isn't. That it, makes it a very expensive pearl. Working with me here. Yeah, it's got an odd shape and it's got some um, texture variation. And it just just does not look like a cultured pearl. Wow. A little, uh, I think, onyx bear. We've got um, an orange stone or glass. I'm not sure. Now, this is all 925, guys. And then we've got a necklace with uh, what looks to be like um, maybe adventuring or jadeite. And then a little heart with a couple of pieces of um, turquoise. That's an interesting combination. So that glass ball on the end, is that like hollow, like blown glass kind of? Yes, it I is. I had one like that not long ago. Beautiful piece. Hi, Sissy. How are you? And we're going to start six necklaces with pendants out at jump drum roll please twenty dollar make you holla no way any one of those is worth the twenty dollars very good deal wow we have michelle jumping in at 20. we are looking for 25 from autumn grace sorry guys autumn beat you to 25 we're needing 26 on this everybody jumped in on this one we got Raven 25 for a second, Michelle 30, 26 for a second, Pamela Drain at 30. We have Pamela is at 30 right now. We have Autumn at 35. There is all your Christmas gifts in one lot. I know you don't want to talk about hey, Christmas. Raven, is at 50. Raven is at 50, guys. So we're looking for 55. We are in $5 increments right now. <laughs> Hi, Adam. How are you? We've got six necklaces there. Are you making fun of my um, schedule, Adam? You must, be. <laughs> you must be making fun of my events calendar. <laughs> Yes, please ignore that. I'm going to get it updated tonight after this auction, but please ignore that. Everybody is one week later. Yes, the, the sister that it is in now is the one that uh, sews. Well, they all sew, but she's the one that usually sends me a lot of sewn stuff. Okay. So she actually made this t-shirt? Um, was it her or Jackie? Which, I don't know. It's got did a tag it with the one with Marilyn Monroe. No, this is the one that says just Sandy across the front. Uh, is it flat or is it embroidery? I don't know. She does both. It's did you do that with Melody or did Jackie do it? It's embroidered. It's embroidered. Then that probably came from Melody. The one that's in now. Cool. I love it. 
If I forget my name, I just look down. She's the one with the fancy machine that does embroidery, guys. And I'm trying to talk her into starting to sell those. So if you all want any kind of T-shirts with anything um, embroidered or printed on it, get with us. Cool. I think... Uh, uh, Melody did just have hip replacement surgery. Hi, Madison. <laughs> Anybody want to go 55? We are at 50. We are not even close to $10 a necklace now. We have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six necklaces. We're talking chains and pendants here. <coughs> Brenda came in at 55. We're at 55. Thank you to Miss Brenda. We are looking for 50 or 60. Hi, Thrift King. How are you? Hi, Will. Oh, that was Jackie. Okay, I guess she says she thinks it was Jackie. Jackie has an embroidery machine also. Okay, so Raven is out. So we're looking for, we're at 55 to Brenda. We're looking for 60. And we are less than $10 still per necklace. We have six pieces here. Silver, we've got onyx, we've got jadeite or adventuring, we've got turquoise, we've got blown glass here, we've got pearls, and not sure what that orange stone is, but it's beautiful. Does that look like maybe a um, Mexican fire opal? It's that color, but I'm sure that it's just glass. Okay. Still a good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all three of her and two of my other sisters were all in the hospital at the same time. That was weird how that worked out. But yeah, one of them planned the other two unexpected. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Marianne, those chemo pills do cause chronic bone pain for sure. And throat, too. Okay, anybody else? We are at 55 going one time. This is a really good deal. This is a collector's or a reseller's dream on this lot. Guys, it's uh, Ella's birthday today. So if you haven't wished her a happy birthday, please do. She's not bartending tonight. We have other bartenders to take care of you, but. Very happy, happy birthday, L. Yeah. So this bear, does that look like a native piece to you or is it a Southwest piece? Do you think that's a Native American piece? It looks like it could be. It, it definitely could be. So that piece alone right there is probably worth where the bid is at now. Looks like there's some bone on there too. Yeah. Anybody, we're going two times at 55 to Brenda. Uh, yeah, Marianne, I am so sorry. Whoops, Raven changed her mind. Raven is back in at 60, so we are now looking for 65. So now we just made it to $10 per necklace. That covers the chains on the necklaces, guys. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, Ella says, help yourself to the cake and pie. Dang, you know what? I had a pair of earrings that just dawned on me that would have gone perfectly with that pearl necklace. It was the same type of beads. I wish I had not sold those. I would give those to whoever buys this lot because they would go perfect with that necklace. Willow is calling that a witch's ball necklace. Oh, good, Kathy. Good. She said that uh, the blue necklace that we thought was iolite that I sold uh -huh. it test as iolite. So awesome. You can thank Vicki for that. I think it was Vicki and Sandy who figured out that that might be iolite. So glad okay. that, um, that we got it right. Hi, Holly. Hi. Hi, Holly. Okay, where are we at going? We're at 60 to Raven. We're going to go one time at 60 to Raven. 
Brenda, are you still in? Let me know if you're out and I'll move it along a little quicker. That's okay. Better late than never, Holly. Brenda's out. Thank you, Brenda. So we're going two times. And you actually have your package on the way, too. That went out today, Brenda. So we are at $60 to Raven. See, you almost gave that up over $5, Raven. I'm glad you didn't. We are at fair warning. <coughs> and Marianne brought the drinks in. He's Yay. trying to get us all drunk. Yep. That's fine with me. All right. Mary is making the drinks. That's right. All right. We are sold at $60 to Raven. Thank you, Raven. Good Thank deal you. on that one. Yeah, good deal. All right. Let's see. I've got another brooch. This is 21 <laughs> grams. Ruth. <laughs> Ruth said pretty bad when you have to take your husband's phone away because he's letting an eight-year-old get the best of him. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this pretty. is marked Mexico. Oh, oh, oh. This is 21 grams, so this is not a light piece. It's very sturdy. And we are going to start that out at 18. That is a fantastic price. The style of that is probably, what do you think, maybe 70s, 80s? When I would started, think, yeah. Started coming out. Yeah. Robert, Robert Jones. Yeah. Oh, Robert. He jumped straight to 25. I guess I'm not bidding on that one. <laughs> Knocked me right out. Can we get 26 on this? He knows what he likes. Yes, he does. Because he doesn't play when he's ready to when he's ready to play, he goes for it. Well, he just puts a hammer down. No red cups today, Marianne. Actually, you know what? I am going to go check out your channel real quick because I don't think I'm sub to you. There you go, Rift King. Now I will remember to go check out your channel. Okay. Yes, please don't forget to support each other's channels. A lot of resellers in. A lot of YouTube videos in. So we are at 25 to Robert. Can we get 26? We're looking for 26 on this one. This is that puff style. So probably 70s, 80s on this when a puffy heart and all that puffy jewelry started coming out. Puff the magic dragon. You know what, Robert? I agree. Looks like two intertwined amoebas or something, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Robert said, it looks like love to me. I'm agreeing. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> On a very basic level. <laughs> Goodness. Mating slugs. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Are too much. Escargo. Hey, you're the one who let me on your channel. That's true. I did. <laughs> A little yin and yang. That's right, Kathy. It does look like yin and yang. So we are going one time. Nobody is going to challenge Robert on this amazing brooch. Tadpoles. Yep. Tadpoles. I agree. Or two drops of rain from the movie Frozen. That was really stretching it. Yeah. All right. He, um, Thrift King said he's doing a giveaway on his channel. So go check out his channel and um, watch for his giveaway. 
All right. Anybody else want to go in on this? We are going two times to Robert. Oops. That was a stutter. G -g going twice. <laughs> And no offense to anybody with a stutter. None met at all. Hi, Lady Chickapoo. Glad you're still with us. I am going to name one of my dogs Chickapoo. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> what I, was the last one? Two males and a female? Two females and a male. Two yeah. females and a male. I haven't seen them in a while. You'll have to show them when we're done with the auction. Fair warning. We can probably do that. Oh, are you excusing my bad behavior, Denise? Thank you. <laughs> I thought I got away with bad behavior because of age, but um, I guess not. I'll be good. All righty, sold to Robert for $25. Thank you, Robert. That was a really good deal on that, Robert. Yeah, 20, 21 grams. Okay, so I've got a religious pendant. And this is on a, ooh, that looks like about a 30-inch chain. It's a 28 inch chain. So let's get up there, here, and <clears throat> let's see. Ah. see. Yeah, that's right, Willow. I have pent up something. I don't know what yet. So oh, this is gorgeous. I've never seen one like this. It's got Jesus on this side. Wow. That's and amazing. Got, and it's Mark Sterling on the back. It's got uh, the Blessed Mother on that side. Oh, wow. So. Is that silver? Because it's uh, sometimes your camera has kind of a gold look to it. Is it silver or vermeil? It's silver. Silver. Beautiful. And it's on a 28-inch uh, chain. Nice. There is the chain. And I am starting that out at 20. All Here's right. $20, guys. So you said a 20-inch chain and about how big is the pendant? 28. 28. 28. Okay. Yeah. And um, the medallion is about an inch. Okay. So we have Pamela at 20. I came back at 25. We have Pamela at 30. I'm going 35. I think I'm actually going to buy something for my husband tonight. Cool. We are at 35. Anybody want to go 36? <laughs> I think Pamela likes it as much as I do, though. So <laughs> I think I it. Roll, roll. Looking for 36. I hope that worked out okay for you, Robert. Thank you for telling us, though. <laughs> Hi, you like jewelry? How are you? My potty mouth tonight. I should probably take a potty mouth break, too. <laughs> we are looking for 36. Anybody want to go 36? You're saving for a puppy? What kind of puppy, Pamela? We're going one time at 35. A Papillon puppy. Ah, oh, you're going to have to save a lot for that one. <laughs> 
a whole lot. Unless uh, Sandy magically decides she wants to do a 2,000 sub giveaway. <laughs> you yeah. gonna get it to you. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that's coming anytime soon. Anybody else? We are going two times at 35. I'll let you tell me when to call this one, since how I'm holding the high bid right now. Um, I don't think anybody else is bidding, so go ahead. All right, fair warning. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds in case anybody changes their mind. <laughs> yeah, I think I finally found something my husband would actually wear, so I'm going for it. There All you. right, sold to me. Yay, me. And the chain is long enough, so yay. Yeah. He can, you know, put it inside of his shirt and that. Yeah. All right. He's got Thanks. a big neck, so he needs a longer chain. Oh, okay. But he'll love that. All if right. not, I think I've got a 30-inch rope here. Um, he can put it on if that one doesn't work, but I think that'll work. All right, we've got a small. Thank you, everybody. A small band. It is size five and a half. But I really like it. We're going to start this one out at 15. Oh, pretty. Oh, that is cool. Size what? five and a half. All right, we're starting at 15. Wow, could you imagine how much work that was? Like all those individual yep. chain links there. Anybody want to come in on this? We are talking $15, and this looks like quite a hunk of sterling. And you said it's a six? <coughs> and a half? It's a five and a half. Oh, five and a half. It's a... Uh, Quite a bit of, yeah, it's a heavy, uh, heavy band. Yeah, this would be a really nice pinky ring for you who have larger fingers. It's a five and a half, guys. Pablo Drake's in at 15. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, I didn't even see that. Thank you. Thanks, Pamela. That would be a really cool one to wear midway on your um, middle or index finger, too. We are at 20 to Sosi. We are looking for 21. Yeah, this is a very cool, unique looking ring. Looks like a lot of work went into it for sure. We have Pamela Drain at 25. We are looking for 26. Exactly the kind of stuff I like, the uh, unique, one of a kind looking, rather than all that prissy, Prissy. Made. Prissy. Prissy. Yeah, I don't like prissy little <laughs> rings. I like rings that say, hey, I am there. <laughs> okay, so she says she is out to Pamela. So we are going to go going one time at 25 to Pamela. So she is very sweet like that. Yep. Yeah, Willow, I'm the same way. I know some people can wear them on any finger, but I can only wear it on my little finger. I'm really bad about losing them, too. Even small, even rings on my little finger, I'm bad about losing. All righty, anybody else? We need 26 on this. We are going once to Pamela at 25. We are looking for 26.
eBay reseller and thrift king. You want to have an auction on stills and deals at some point? If you're interested in that, hit us up. We are looking for resellers for our auction. We are at fair warning. I'm going to give it a few seconds, guys. Nobody right now is bidding but Pam. Pam is holding the high bid at 25. So we are going to call this one sold to Pam at 25. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Pam. Now let me know if I'm moving too fast, Sandy. No, you're fine. All right. We Thank have you, Pam. just a plethora of... Um, pendants. Oh, uh, look at the M. We got an M. We got um, Gemini. Gemini. We've got, I don't know what that is. Aries. We have. Um, My husband is a Gemini. I think that's St. Joseph. Our last name is McGarry. Gosh, you have to tempt me, don't you? And then this one is, I think. Firefighters. Let me let's see if we can get this to focus. Yeah. I think that's firefighters. And then we've got this shell with a pearl down there. And then I just threw in these little earrings with these little blue stones for for, I just threw them in. I like those round hoops like that. For because I wanted to. That's what that's for. And we are going to start these guys out at drum roll, please. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and earrings. And we're going to start them out at $18. All right, $18. Um, she said one of them, Pamela said one of them is Sagittarius. You mean the horse one? Is that Sagittarius? Yeah. Oh, very cool. So we got Gemini and Sagittarius. We have Ruth at 20. I do too, Willow. That little M is really cute, too. It's got a really fancy bell on it. But this is a really good lot here. We got one, two, three, four, five, what, six, seven pieces in this lot? Yep. Very nice. Oh, cool. <clears throat> Very cool, Ruth. Um, Raven Willow wants to know if she can buy the blue witch's ball from the necklace lots that you bought. And Miss Sosi wants to see the back of the shell pendant. That is some legit mother of pearl there. Beautiful piece. Hey, man, I'm always legit. <laughs> it's got a gorgeous pearl in it, too. Very nice pearl. Always legit. Yes, everything. We are looking for, for um, we have a lot of jewelry sellers, so we are looking for people who don't sell jewelry that, well, that can sell, but people who sell other things also so that we can have some variety. Variety, variety. Yeah, we are at $25 to Pamela. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, last one. We are at 20 to Ruth. We are looking for 22. Gosh, my memories. Darn it, Ruth. You had to go and become my friend because I'm going to have a hard time bidding against you. <laughs> Darn it for you being so nice. 
All right, looking for 22, guys. We'll take 21. I mean, what, we've got seven pieces here, $20. So we're at less than $3 a piece here. Very good deal. Anybody. I am so itching to bid on this, but I just can't do that to Ruth. Can we get 21? Because I'm guessing Madison has her eye on a couple of these pieces. <laughs> Looking for 21, ladies. Anybody? Going one time at 20 to Ruth. It got very quiet suddenly, didn't it? Uh-oh. <laughs> what does that mean? That means I'm running out of stuff to say. Oh, oh dear. No coming in at 21. I was just going to put going twice in. That works every time. We got Joe coming in at 21. We are looking for 22. We got Ruth coming in at 22. We got some little cross earrings coming up next. Next. And I'm winding down. So. Joe at 23. I'm glad somebody still does that. I thought my mother-in-law was the only one I know who still hangs her laundry outside. Ruth says she is out, so we are going once at 23 to Joe. Hi, Thelma Harper, you're still with us. Thank you for hanging in there. And all of you ladies and that have been in since the very beginning, I'm always impressed that you hang in with us for so long. 6.50. It is 9.50 in Virginia. Are you having a hot flash? I have a hard time breathing right at the moment. Do you want some oxygen? That's good. When my mother-in-law was still working, she's retired now. She, she hangs all of her stuff out still, but when she was a nurse, she never hung her uniform or put her uniforms in a dryer. She swore they stayed wider by hanging them on the line, and I believe that that they do. She never had to use that bleach or anything in them. And they did get whiter. Yeah, they stay whiter, I think, Willow. Plus, I think that sun kind of sanitizes them and bleaches them without having to use chemicals. Okay. We're going two times. We are where 23 to, let me back up a bit. I think 23, just want to make sure. Yeah, 23 to Joe. Oh, Vicki just came in at 25. It's about to call that one, Vicki. You just got in. We are at 25 to Vicki. Yes, is it? We are at 26 to Joe. Is Kent or Sandy? I, I think they're okay. You guys are okay, right? Yeah, we're here. Had to get some oxygen for uh, Kent. He was short of breath. So, you okay, Kent? Yeah, I'm all right. I know you. Uh, you tried to take care of everybody. You need to take care of yourself, Kent. I've just been a little congested lately, and yeah, all of a sudden it just went, oh, bam, bam. But we have oxygen here, so I hooked him up. So your chest is congested? You know, I don't feel congested. I just know I am. This has been going on for a couple of weeks now. Do you have high blood pressure? I don't for being a fat non-smoker. <laughs> That's good that you don't because then you can take any kind of a 
decongestant you need or an expectorant. Got to be careful what you take when you have high blood pressure because a lot of those decongestants and expectorants will raise your blood pressure. You got a high blood pressure, you're pretty much stuck with coracetin and um, mucinex. All right, we are going once again at 26 to Joe. He's trying to grab between what's chasing mutant children. <laughs> To finish. Oh, you're really close to Cleveland. Hang on, I'm going to throw something else in there. So we had somebody earlier from Ohio who's looking for somebody to have coffee with. Oh, she's about to show something else. She's adding another. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is cute. I love that. And it's got uh, 925 on the bail there. So we'll throw that one in. I'll put it up here where you can see it. Wasn't it Thelma that's in Ohio? Is that, does that symbolize people on the charm? Yeah, it's a that's family. Cool. Well, I know she's and we're going to throw that in there too. Okay, we have Vicky at 30. Got. So we'll throw that heart in there. Your Cogburn. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful heart. Wow, that makes it so tempting. I'm trying to stay out of this one, but you're not making it very easy. We have Joe at 33. Yeah, it's a really good um, expectorant. And if you've got chest congestion, the decongestant sometimes will make that worse because it thickens the mucus. You want something that's going to thin out the mucus. Decongestant tries to dry you up where an expectorant will loosen it and thin it out so you can cough it up. Not that y'all needed to know that, but. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. It, it can be uh, counterproductive using a decongestant when you have chest congestion. You only want to use that when your nose is congested only. Yep, vapor rub is a good one too. Helps loosen up that chest. We are at 33 to Joe, looking for 34. Anybody want to go 34? We now have, what, eight, nine pieces to this lot? Uh, ten. Ten? Oh, ten pieces to this lot. Ooh, how cute. Ten pieces, guys. We are at, what, $3.33 right now? Wow, that is a really good deal. Well, that's what we hope to bring you is good deals. Are you still in Ohio too, Holly? Looks like we got a lot of people in Ohio right now. No, Holly is in Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, that, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. a good idea, Robert, if you, you have got, respiratory uh, or um, allergy problems, HEPA filters. Okay, guys, going one time at $33. I cannot believe you're letting this one go for $33. We have Vicki coming back in at 35 Oh, she is going to keep adding. I lost track. Where are we, 11 pieces now? We have Joe at 36 what does that say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Did you just add another one? Yeah. Well, Let's thirteen. One in there. Oh, what a beautiful cat's eye. That looks like a real cat's eye. Like a quartz cat's eye. Oh, we jumped up to 44. It took my eye away from the screen for a second. And we are at 44 to Joe Thornson. Oh, here's another one. 
Wow, what a lot. We have Vicki at 50. We are looking for 55 now. We just went to $55 increments. Looking for 55. Hi, Ro. Yeah, it's a beautiful cat's eye. It looks like a legit cat's eye, too. It looks like a quartz cat's eye rather than a glass one. Um, Sosi is out, so we are at 50 to Vicki. Um, anybody else want to get in on this? This is a spectacular deal. We have Joe at 55. One, two, three. I can't keep count because she keeps adding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pieces, thirteen pieces. Am I right? Did I count that right? Four. Something like that, yeah. We are at fifty to Vicky. Looking for sixty. Well, hello back to you, Thrift King. Raven, I think Willa, oh, um, Raven, I don't know if you saw or if we missed your answer, but um, Raven is wanting to buy one of the pieces from the necklace lot that you purchased earlier. Um, I can't remember which piece you said. What piece was it? <coughs> It well, was the witch's ball, I think. Oh yeah, the yeah that uh, blown glass ball. Is that what those are called? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I think somebody did say that when I sold that one that it was a, called a witch's ball. Yeah, it's a wee bit nippy here too. Still, Marianne, it is um, raining today. Hi, Cinnamon. How are you? Um. I think it's a horse. I don't see any wings on it. Are you adding more? She's losing her mind. That looks like it could be diamonds there. She's trying to get rid of her quarter on this one last thing. All right. We are at $60, guys. And she just added another piece. Anybody want to go 65 on this? We're going to go going one time at 60 to Vicky. So if you want to bid, you need to get in there now. I think we're at how many pieces now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen. Is that fifteen? Am I counting right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I can't tell. We have Joe at 65. Vicki came back at 70, Ooh. cleaning out her junk drawer. <laughs> well, that's a pretty decent junk drawer. That's not what's in my junk drawer. Joe says she is out, so we're going one time to Vicki at $70. I'll swap junk drawers with you, Sandy. Ah, okay. My junk drawer literally has junk in it. <laughs> like screws and an old playing card, an eraser from when my kids were 10, that kind of thing. A broken oh, yeah. pencil with no eraser. That's what you'll find in my junk drawer. <laughs> I remember those drunk junk drawers. Yep. <laughs> One in bad need of cleaning. Yeah, just things that you just know that you're going to have to use it sometime, so you put it in the drawer. All right, we are going twice at 70 to Miss Vicky. Can we get 75? Um, that's a good size uh, metal there too. The like, that's really cool. The Saint, what does that say? Saint Florian? Protected? I, don't know. I love the shape of that one. I don't know. Did you test that, um, the round one you put up there? Is that diamonds? I didn't test it. That suspiciously looks like that could be diamonds. We are going twice. Oh, we already did going twice, didn't we? 
Nope, we didn't. All right. Yeah, yeah. It's, I think, pouring all over the U.S. right now. Not here. It was almost, I think it got up to 60 here. Yeah, that big pearl is awesome, Vicki. We'll talk about that little M in the Gemini if you get that one. We'll sell it. Okay, fair warning. And all right, guys, sold to Miss Vicki for $70. <clears throat> Yay, Vicki. All right, we have some. Ooh, that'll make you seasick, won't it? Is Raven still in? You might have to message her. I don't, she hasn't responded yet. Let's move this. I love this shape of crosses. There we go. After we get this one started, I need to go make a pit stop it and take me about 30 seconds. All right. We're going to start these tanks um, out at uh, 15. These are about three quarters of an inch. They are sterling. You could make two pendants out of those guys and put chains on them if you're resellers and really increase your money. Be right back. All righty. Anybody, anybody, anybody. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we got Lydia in at 15. Lydia's in at 15. <laughs> well, so there's another word she's got to be. <laughs> yes, she does. What is this thing? I'm so over winter. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? We got Lydia in at $15. Make you holla. Oh dear, I'm pooping out, guys. Anybody else? Robert is in at 20. I think we're about the same, Willow. Just about the same. Where did I put? There it is. Do, 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 do. We're at 21 with Jax. Fifteen for kits. All right, Jax is at twenty one. Lydia is out, and Cindy is back. Thank you. Sorry about that. I had to go check on my husband. He is down with back pain tonight, so I wanted to make sure he was okay. He never admits to pain, so if he admits to it, he's doing not well. Um, you're at 15 to... No, we're at 21 to 21. X, I believe. Okay. So 21 to <laughs> Jaxie, looking for 22. <laughs> Move over, she's got to go too. That was my other pit stop. I just didn't think you all wanted that much info. <laughs> <laughs> all 
righty then. So we are, Lydia is out. Is Lydia the and Jaxie the only one bidding right now? Um, I think Robert was in there, but I think he's out also. Okay. So go ahead and count it down. All right. We are going one time at $21 to Jaxie. Thank you, Miss Jaxie. And Willow, Vicki Willow has a question for you too. I don't know if you saw that or not. Guys, if you have a question in the chat, capitalize it so that it brings attention to it so we don't miss it. Sometimes so many messages go by that you can't catch everything. Especially when you're like me and you get very easily distracted by shiny things. <laughs> you're going two times to Jack T. Look how thick those crosses are. Those are not, um, those are not wimpy crosses. Those are enough to make an actual pendant. Double your money on that one. Okay, fair warning. Are you working on your jewelry jar or not? I was trying to. No. Is he still having trouble breathing? Yeah. He, the jewelry jar isn't going to happen tonight, guys, because he's not feeling well. He's trying to concentrate on breathing. <laughs> we just right. want to keep him breathing tonight. So. Yes. Um, sold to Jaxie. Was it Jaxie bidding? Yeah. Yes, Jaxie. Um, do you want me to take over writing things down, Ken, so you can go and lay down? No, I'm good. Okay, if you get to the point where you need me to start keeping track, holler. Okay, so I'm wearing down, so we're just going to um, put up a couple of stones, guys. If you want, uh, how this works is you, the price is the stone and the mounting. And... Um, you buy it and then I will make you either a ring or a pendant. This is that uh, kaleidoscope jasper. I cut this one this afternoon and I will do a ring or a pendant for 75 for this one. I'm gonna give right. you guys some deals tonight because I'm pooping out. Starting at 75, the Kaleidoscope Jasper is not easy to find. We didn't see any of it while we were in Tucson. And we got, um, we went all over the place. We didn't make it everywhere, obviously, but we went to a lot of different shows and didn't see the Kaleidoscope Jasper anywhere. So um, not easy to find at this point. And she will make a ring or a pendant out of this for you. Whatever your heart desires, you probably can even go on and watch her make it and have some input in the design. <laughs> Absolutely. This would be a custom piece for you. Something going on with Robert. Oh, you're not feeling well either. I am so sorry, Robert. Are you still good for Sunday? Let me know if you can't do Sunday. Um, Thelma wants you to describe the colors in it. It is a lavender and it goes to a, um, darker purple. And then it's got, um, like a hint of blue on the end. Is that yellows we're seeing there too? Pardon? Is that yellows we're seeing? Yeah. A little bit of yellow veining go through there. Kaleidoscope Jasper is like God just took a bunch of different colored stones and threw them together. And that's what you got. <laughs> Robert, <laughs> you're funny. So if nobody's interested in that, that's fine. No interest in the kaleidoscope. I've got another piece of kaleidoscope which is the purples and the blues, some uh, browns in here, um, just a hint of 
green. And this stone is 150. I'm if surprised you've given any of that up because I know you don't have much of it and it's hard to find. Were you ever ever able to get a hold of your guy to see if he would let up off any more of it? Um, not yet, but I've got, you know, I sent him a message, so we'll see. All right. And then I've got a spectacular piece of turquoise. Oh, wow. You did take it out, huh? Beautiful. Yeah. Look at the color on that. That is amazing. That is like robin egg blue there for sure. I believe that this is Sleeping Beauty. It's got some beautiful matrixing in it, almost um, the spider webbing almost. And this one is 150 also. Now, how many carats do you think that is to give them an idea of the size? Let me weigh it for you. I heard that, Thelma. It is 11.7. Eleven point seven carats, so that's a pretty decent sized stone. That would make a great yeah. ring or pendant. And look at it's got a very high polish on it. That's nice. All right, guys. I will anybody not. any interest in any of those stones? The first um, one was seventy five. The second one was one fifty. Yes. And then the third stone also one fifty. And she will make those into anything you want her to make them into, as far as a ring or a pendant. Something more than that would probably be an additional charge, like a bracelet right. or something like that. Right. Okay. It would thrift king. It. And you know, you could make it oops small the same <laughs> as it is just by putting it in a simple simple setting, or you can uh, no. large pin it by adding it yeah. into a bigger setting. So if you like a bigger setting, then go there. See if that one will work. Yeah, that one works. <laughs> I heard that will a lot of interest, just not a lot of money to go with it, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to turn that on. I meant to get rid of it. There we go. All right. Pamela says, Sandy, we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. I'm fading. Um, so. Thelma says make her a ring with the first one. Oh, okay. Um, what size? Which of your little tiny delicate fingers <laughs> do you want it on? <laughs> her beautiful little delicate fingers. It is last call, guys. Yep. Thrift King, you are right. Last call for alcohol. To Selma. It's Easter, so five and a half to six. Yeah, that would be a great stone for Easter, Thelma. I agree. Good idea. Okay. That looks like an Easter egg. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming in and spending your Friday night with us. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't have a channel without you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the the drinks and the popcorn and the cake. Ella had cake for us. And the drama. And, the drama. <laughs> and please don't block the driveway when you're going out. Watch for the deer because they're still moving around out there. So um, I will be on this week making jewelry with my new bionic eye so because it's working fantastic 
So guys, um, if I don't see you before, enjoy your weekend. And uh, Cindy from? From Virginia Beach. And Kent? There in Utah. And since we're in the same room, I, I must be in Fair in Utah also. So, That's guys, say, don't, before you sign off real quick, I wanted to remind them that Chris the Goose was scheduled for Saturday the 7th, which was a mistake. It should have been um, Saturday the 14th. So the schedule will resume every other week after that. So if you are on now, I will be messaging you. Um, as a reminder, but everybody is one week later than what I have you on the schedule. All righty. So guys from fair in Utah, remember, don't just make a wish, make it happen in your life. Okay. I love you. Night. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you.